All right, I'm now on letter B on GMA number three. And again, we do not have the steps laid out for us. So the first thing that I would hope that you would do is you would start with your steps. G, M, A, and you would be thinking about any grouping symbols or brackets thinking about any multiplying or dividing actions, any adding or subtracting actions. And then I hope that you would think about how many actions are going to take place. How many rows will you have before you get your answer? So I see adding, division, and multiplication. So that's one, two, three. So right now I'm going to take my highlighter I'm going to highlight three lines because that's how many I'm going to need to complete to get to my final answer. Go ahead and pause the video and see what you can do. And then unpause the video and make sure our work is matching. All right. So the first thing I'm looking for are any grouping symbols. There are no grouping symbols in this problem, so I'm going to go ahead and X that off. The next thing I would be looking for would be any multiplying or dividing, whichever I see first. So I happen to see division before multiplication. So I'm actually going to underline the two numbers in front of my division sign and behind my division sign, and those are the numbers I'm going to divide. So if I take the number 4 and I divide it in half, I'm going to get 2. And that number is going to drift right here into place. I'm going to need to rewrite the other numbers behind the action I just solved and in front of the action I just solved. Moving down, I'm still looking to see if I have any multiplicative actions. So I have adding and I have multiplying. And that's right, we're going to multiply next. Multiply next. I know it's very tempting to add, but make sure you multiply. So 2 times 3, because 2 is in front of the multiplication sign, 3 is behind the multiplication sign, you're going to get 6. You're going to drop your adding sign and the number 8. So now when I scan my numbers, my expression, I don't see any more multiplicative actions, so I'm done. And the last thing I'd be looking for is any adding or subtracting. So 8 plus 6 is going to give me 14. 14 is my answer. And making sure that you're solving in that pizza format, that's super important.